Welcome back. This is episode four, Shift T and Serenity here. And during this episode, I'm going to talk a little bit about how our irons have progressed so far, and maybe a little bit of what we would have done differently. Uh, and then also, we're going to show uh, me paying Marcus 10 mil for winning the first challenge of getting full rune. And as you could recall from episode three, this is uh, Marcus, and he won the full rune challenge in less than a week. Well done, Marcus. Oh. That's the easiest 10 million you've ever made. Yeah. Miss, I, I've never made more than my life, actually. Wait, that your biggest? that's your biggest ever? Yeah. Remember? I mean, at top, I think the, the, the best uh, split I've gotten is 8 mil. Ouch. So, pay up. Dang. Buddy. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. Good fight, 10 mil. I think that's 10 mil. Yep. Alrighty. On to Fire Cape. Good luck, man. So that's 20. That's 25 mil. Alrighty. Good luck. Okay. Now that Marcus and I have finished the first uh, achievement, which was full rune, Marcus uh, did win. He won the 10 mil. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about what we would have done differently in the first week. Uh, and then also maybe what are what is an ex essential skill needed for success and also the best early game money maker. So for me, as you can see, I didn't really have a game plan at all. I started out with going to chickens, which was an absolute terrible idea. And then I kind of jumped around from one thing to another. Uh, in the future, I would have definitely started out with thieving day one. I would have thieved as much as possible all the way up to cakes, get a lot of cakes saved up, um, get some silk from the silk trader in Ardy. Uh, and then after that, maybe go for the rogues outfit, uh, and then also do some fruit stalls. <laughs> uh, and then besides that, I would say the most essential skill is probably agility, just for getting around. Uh, as soon as I get done with thieving to make some money, I would uh, go right to agility and work on full graceful, just because questing would be a lot faster and obtaining the full rune would be a lot quicker um, once you can uh, fund the quest and then also get around the map quicker with agility and i'll leave it over or i'll hand it over to marcus now and i guess what did you do to get full rune and what would you do differently um well what i would do differently would be probably rushing thieving first um just because uh, you can make so much money doing thieving early on early game um, so I would have rushed uh, probably 50 thieving, 50 agility to get rogues, and then went straight to um, either blackjacking or the knights in RD for early game money, um, and just put all put all quests and all everything else, put that all aside besides just focusing on those two skills, early game anyways. Um, most essential skill would be. Probably, I mean, it's a toss-up, but I would say most most likely you'd have to go to agility just because of that being able to move around the game so much faster overall, especially once you get your first couple pieces of graceful. Um, and the best early game moneymaker by far for us, it was LMS. Um, but for... If I was to redo it, I think I would rather have gone the thieving route. And it's it'll probably never be as much money per hour as, as LMS, but at least you're getting your skills up at the same time. Versus LMS, right. when you go there, you're you're just doing, you know, peaking and you're not getting any stats while you're there. Right. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, and what we did with LMS is we basically bought rune arrows and sold them to shops. And you can get rough, roughly 160 gold per arrow. So it was it was good money, but um, I think maybe going to thieve some jewelry or something would have been a little better an option. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Having that having that rogues off at early game helps out drastically. I think. Yep. Okay. So, um, what was your success to getting the rune items, your rune helmet, and the kite shield? I know I had gotten the kite shield from Lava Dragons, and you uh, stole it from me, and then I was unable to get another piece. Uh, how did you get the rune full helm? Um, 
I ended up doing um not winter tot but the other on Tempras, the fishing boss, and I ended up getting a rune full helm from Tempras. And okay. then obviously I did agility pyramid to buy the top and bottom, the plate and legs. Okay. Yep. Yeah, and you see in the last video we were basically they're fighting for money. So that's why agility is so important because the early game money is just so beneficial to training mage and uh, <clears throat> getting items. So, okay. Well, I guess that'll be the end of this episode. We'll, uh, our next task is to get a fire cape and we'll see who can achieve that quicker. And this will be exciting because I'm thinking we'll probably see a couple different methods and, um, and it'll be probably some savage gameplay back and forth. So stay tuned. Oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah. and we'll get working on the fire cape. Good luck. Yep.